Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Tom Toughnuts coming at you with another music reaction. I'm very excited about this one specifically. We reacted to Mark Martell uh, not too long ago. We reacted to him doing Bohemian Rhapsody. Never heard of Mark Martell, except I lied. Because technically, I have. And I didn't know it. Uh, I read your guys' comments on that reaction, and somebody made the comment about him being in the band Down Here. And Down Here uh, was a Christian rock band from, well, I want to say like mid-2000s, early 2000s. Um, and I grew up in a Christian family. My father actually took uh, our Sunday school class to a concert, and Down Here was the band that opened. And it's crazy that I can remember that, because I only heard them one time. I don't remember any of their songs. I barely remember the concert. I was just really young. I, I want to say I was like 10 years old. Um, but uh, these guys opened up for Jeff Moore in the Distance, which is the reason we went to the concert, because we were going to perform one of his songs at uh, at our church on that Sunday, as well as uh, Amy Grant. And Mark Martell here is the lead singer, for, was the lead singer for that band down here. So that's kind of crazy how that all came full circle. And so thank you so much for making me realize that. But I do remember, and I'd have to find it. It'd be somewhere at my parents' house. I don't know where, if we even still have it. But I actually got to meet this band after the concert. With I know that for a fact. And I also had a picture. Well, it's like a poster picture signed by the whole band. So I'm curious if I still have that. Because that'd be cool to see Mark Bartel's autograph. Uh, and I just never knew that it was him. But... I absolutely loved his cover of Bohemian Rhapsody. The similarities to Freddie Mercury, he's the closest I think we'll ever get. It was absolutely stunning what he did. But this specific one, I asked, um, well, I didn't ask, but I, I did say during that um, reaction that my favorite song by Queen is not Bohemian Rhapsody. I do love the song. I love a lot of Queen songs. But it's actually this one, Somebody to Love, and somebody said that he did this. Uh, he did an audition for... Queen Extravaganza, which is like a tribute Queen band, um, and he won. Roger Taylor and Brian May of Queen selected him as a winner. I don't blame him because he's that damn good. I'm not saying he is exactly Freddie, but he's the damn closest you're ever going to get, in my opinion. Uh, I've never heard anyone even close, not nowhere close. Um, so I'm excited to do this one because this is my favorite Queen song. So, but before we dive in, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys would do me that favor, it's always appreciated. It helps grow the channel. As well as we do have a Patreon, go check it out. It's on the description below. Help support me as well as my wife and kids. This is what I do daily, every day. It's my job. I love doing it. I love finding incredible musicians, bands, singers, artists, just like Mark here. I love giving them the publicity they deserve. But damn, I am so ready for this one. Mark Martell, somebody to love. Let's check out this audition. Let's see why he became the winner here. Here we go. Mark Martell, somebody to love audition. Here we go. With the dirty stash. Yes, the dirty. Yes. Each morning I get up, I tie a little. Can barely stand on my feet. Take a look, Take a look in the mirror and cry. And cry. Lord, what you yeah, doing to yeah. me? I just can't get no relief, Lord. Somebody, somebody, ooh, somebody, somebody, can anybody find me? Somebody to love. That's all I needed was right there. Actually, no, I need more of this, obviously. Um, yeah, that was... If this is your first time hearing Mark Martell, uh, hopefully your mind is blown the same way mine is right now. And this is my second time hearing him. Uh, man, he's he's smashing the song already for me. But we haven't even got to the good part. Although I'm a little worried because the video is only just over two minutes long. So I don't know how big the song is going to get. I would assume for an audition, you're probably going to have the juiciest part of the song, I hope. Um, but... We're going to find out. Here we go. But so far, he is crushing this song. Turn it up. I work hard, hey, hard. every day of my life. I work to like my bones. At the end, At the end of the day. I 
take home Cause my heart ain't hey, oh, home Cause my heart ain't 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 home It's incredible. And sorry for pausing, but I did forget to me- I did forget to mention that he actually I didn't know this either. I, this is why I read your guys' comments because you guys give me all this knowledge. He was a big part of the movie Bohemian Rhapsody that came out uh, like a year or two ago. Um, he did a lot of the vocals. It wasn't uh, Rami Malek. Um, I think that's how you say his name who played Freddie in the movie. I know he did some of the vocals, but I had no idea that Mark did a huge portion of it. So that's really cool to know as well, man. I mean, ah, this guy's just got so much talent. I don't know if he does like any originals uh, outside of what he did with the band down here, if he's on like his own solo project. But man, it's this is like scary, honestly, in a way. Like, I love it, but it's scary. He walks every day. Thank God he pointed out the guitar solo for all of us. We never would have picked up on that. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, that was awesome. I wish he would have finished like the very end with, you know, as the chorus, but that's totally fine. Obviously, I could see why he got selected from Roger Taylor and Brian May. That's... That's a no-brainer selection, honestly. That's I'm I've heard a lot of Queen covers, um, not so many of this one. I've seen them on like talent shows, and they're good, you know, but they're not like this, you know. And it's not like the people on those talent shows are trying to sound exactly like Freddie or have the voice of Freddie. Uh, but this is just like, oh my god, it's the I gotta appreciate the hell out of this guy. Um, it's crazy. Like, I'm not saying he is 100% Freddie Mercury. He's just the closest we're probably ever going to get to having that moment, that person back in our lives. <sighs> that is just a bombshell to listen to. Um, anyways, I'm curious what you guys think. It's crazy to me. Like, I know Adam Lambert. I don't know if he still is, but I know he did, uh, like, tour with the Queen, the whole the band themselves. And Adam Lambert's got a great voice. Don't get me wrong. He's he's good. Um, but as far as, like, the authenticity of Queen, he's good. He's got a great voice. But this guy, if you want to literally have the whole effect again, this would be the guy to have. Uh, I don't know if he how much he did, if he's done a lot with the band. Um, and I don't know if Adam's still going with the band. I, I kind of lost the following as far as where that all went. I just have seen some of his uh, performances with him. Um, but man, this guy is just, that's crazy. And this is, I think this video is like from 2010, somewhere around there. I don't know, maybe a little bit later. She can tell with the quality of the video, but man, the like the audio itself sounded really nice. Um, but anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Throw something down in the comments. Give me some more information about this guy, because apparently I've known him for a long time. Just, had no idea. Who knows? Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, always appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching this with me. Um, but yeah, I would love to react to more Mark Martell. If he's got a bunch of Queen covers, or even if he has other covers of other bands, I'd love to hear them. Um, and I'm assuming this is his This is his voice. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can throw shade at him because he sounds like Freddie Mercury, but if this is his natural voice... You can't you can't say bad things about that. That's I wish I had that voice. If this was my natural voice, you bet your sweet ass I'd be doing Queen covers. Absolutely. But anyways, guys, I don't know. 
let me know about him. Please give me some more info. And if you want more reactions to Mr. Mark Martell, I'd be happy to do so. Just give me some suggestions. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Tom Thompson signing off. I will catch you at the next reaction. Take care. Be safe and goodbye, my friends.